Hello grade ones, welcome back. As you know by now, my name is Teacher Di and today we're going to be doing some maths brought to you by the amazing Worksheet Cloud. If you have any questions while I'm talking, you can send an email to the address on your screen now, grade1 at worksheetcloud.com. Right, let's get started. Today we're going to be talking about some words called tens and units. Now, when people say tens and units, you feel like we're talking a different language. This is maths, teacher die. Tell me one, two, three, four. Give me some numbers. But I've said this to you before. When in maths, there are some words we need to know. And they really catch us out if someone says to us, what is, how many tens and units in this number? And then we think, oh, I don't understand. I'm so confused. But it's so simple. I bet you, you already know this. But when I tell you, you just haven't heard the word. And when I tell you the word, it's all going to make sense. Okay, before we start with that, let's remember the other words that we learned in our last lesson, which were odd and even. Do you remember? Have a look at these socks. If you've got one sock, it's an odd sock. And so the number one is an odd number. If you've got two socks and you've got a pair, you've got a matching friend for that socks, we've got a pair of socks, it's even. Two is an even number. So one is odd, two is even. Three is odd, four is even. How about let's count in even numbers. Look at the number line on your screen and let's count in even numbers. Okay, two, four, six, eight, ten. Those are even numbers. Let's count in odd numbers. One, three, five, seven, nine. Well done. And those are the new words that we learned, odd and even. We also learned a new word, between, which just means in the middle. Hey, so if I say to you, what object is between the car and the banana? Can you tell me? Yes, the leaf. Right, the leaf is between the car and the banana. Good job. And in maths, we mostly use this when we're referring to numbers. So if I say to you, what number is between the two and the four? Now, first you have to go and look. Where's the two? Where's the four? And then we can easily see what number is between. Great, the three. Okay, awesome. So those were our new words last time. Odd, even, and between. And now we're very smart about that. Today, as I said, we're going to learn two more words called tens and units. Okay, let's get started on that. Here we go. Tens and units. Tens. That just means a group of ten. And normally when they're asking the question, we want to know how many groups of ten. So say we have one block. Let's make a row of ten blocks. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew, that was a lot of work. So from now onwards, I'm not going to build that every time because that just takes me a long time. I have to click my mouse 10 times. And if we were in class, you would have blocks in front of you and your teacher would ask you to build that tower of 10. And once you've done it, that was a lot of work. So now when I say to you 10s, you just bring along this whole row, this whole tower of 10 blocks. That's all they mean when they're talking in tens. They mean a row of ten and keep that just like tens. But not every number is an exact ten, so sometimes we have to just add one more block. And we call that a unit. It's just one. Okay, units, some teachers call that ones. You can see why, because when we're talking about it, we mean one block. So your teacher might have taught you tens and ones. And when you get a little bit bigger in grade two or three, they'll switch to use the word units. But we're just going to go straight for the real word units today. Okay, tens is how many groups of ten, and units is how many blocks of one. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. Here we've got a number twelve. Now your teacher might ask you, please break up the number 12 into 10s 
and units. And then we all fall off our chairs because that sounds very hard, but it's not hard at all. Have a look at that number 12. Let's count to 12 using our blocks. Now remember I said we're not going to count to 10 every time. We're just going to use that 10. Okay, 10. How many more do I need to add on to 10 to get to 12? 10, 11, 12. Just two more blocks. Right, so there's the number 12 represented in blocks. If I said to you build 12, that's what you would build. 10 and then 1, 2. So how many tens have we got here? Just one group of ten. And how many units? One, two. Two units. Okay, so we can say if we're breaking up twelve, twelve is equal to ten plus two. And there we've got, we've broken it up into the tens and the units. Very good. Let's do another number. Please break up fifteen into tens and units. By the way, all the numbers that we're going to do today just has one group of 10. Oh, actually, no, we're going to get to one that has more than one. So why? I'm just explaining why we're talking about tens as if there's more than one 10. I know a lot of the examples today, we've just got one 10. That's fine. That's also fine. Okay, 15 is equal to 10 plus... How many do we need to add to 10 to get to 15? We've got our 10. We put it down all at one time. Let's count on 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 5. So there's one group of 10s and 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 little blocks. So 15 broken up is equal to 10 plus 5. Excellent. Let's do another one. 16, 10 plus, yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 10 plus 6. You can see it by just looking at the number. 16 is equal to 10 plus 6. So if someone said to you, grade ones, please will you break up this number into tens and units? You will say, yes, sure. 16 is equal to 10 plus 6. That's all that they meant. Okay, let's do 20. Now this is a slightly different kind. How many tens are there in 20? If you can count in tens, you might know the answer straight away. Let's do it. 10, 20. Look at that. There are two groups of 10 in 20. Okay, so 20 is equal to 10 plus 10. I want to show you something else because this might help some of you who think like this. 12 can be... Um, made up in these are called flat cards or expanding cards and I'm sure your teacher has some of these and you've got it looks like this you build it and if you break up the number 12 it will make a 10 and a 2 I'm sure you've done this a 10 and a 2 and isn't that interesting that's exactly what tens and units are it's these cards you can also think of it like that you can pack it out in blocks there's our 10 and a 2 or you can represent it with cards isn't maths interesting? There's so many ways to build a number. Look, here's another one. 15 is equal to, and we simply separate our cards, a 10 and a 5. There's the number, they're the blocks, they match. Let's do one more. 16 is equal to 10 plus 6. Great, so when we look at this number 16, we don't say, and this is what we're really checking for, that you say 16 is, look at this one up here, 1 plus 6. Uh-oh, 1 plus 6 is 7. This 1 isn't a 1 at all. What is it? It's a 10. And that's what we're checking that you've noticed. 16 is not equal to 1 plus 6. Oh dear. 16 is equal to? 10 plus 6. And that's really what we're checking that we all understand. So a 16 is broken up into a 10 and a 6. A 12 is broken up into a, a 10 and a 2. Not a 1 and a 2. It's a secret 10 hiding underneath there. Okay, so when you look at these numbers, you're going to remember that this over here, it's not a 1, it's a 
10. Okay, and we've built it over here. A 10 and six little blocks. Okay, that was lots of hard work. I hope you enjoyed that. Well done. Awesome stuff. We had to really plug our brains in there and have a little workout, hey? Okay, now I've prepared a worksheet for you. You can download the activity and practice your tens and units at home. Okay, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you for joining me here at Worksheet Cloud, and I hope that I will see you again soon.